Hello, this is Jeremy with Math Boot Camps, and what I'm going to do in today's video is show you how to find X and Y intercepts using your calculator. Now, I'm assuming you have obviously a TI-84 or 83. You don't need the TI-84+, plus, but a word of warning, um, if you have the newer calculators, the menus may look a little bit different, but the procedures stay the same. So what I'm going to do first is press Y equals, and in here I'm going to put in the function that we're working with. And so today I decided to work with y equals x squared minus x minus 6. And so I'm going to go ahead and type that in. But whatever function you're working with, you would just simply type in here exactly as it is. And then we can start messing with it. So here's the function that I chose for today. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take a look at the graph just to see if there's anything I should be aware of. So I like to press zoom and go to number 6, zoom standard, to see a really nice picture. And so as this is going, what I'm looking at is seeing, okay, it does have x-intercepts. So that's where we cross uh, the x-axis. And you can see right here and right here some x-intercepts. And then I see down here we do also have a y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis. Remember, this parabola could be off over here and we could have um, no x-intercept and the y-intercept be very large and outside of the picture. And so what I would do is zoom and try to see where things are to be able to uh, tell where things are crossing the axes. Okay, now once I have a decent picture, what I'm going to go to is a second and trace. This takes me into the calculate menu. And um, so there's a couple different ways you could do this. Notice that we have uh, the word zero here. Another way to think about the x-intercepts is that they're also the zero of the function. And so that's what I'm going to use is go to the zero. And so you notice the first thing it's asking me for is a left bound. What it's asking you to do is to get on the left-hand side of where you think the graph is crossing the x-axis. Obviously, I think it's crossing right here. So I'm going to get on the left-hand side, press Enter, then get somewhere on the right-hand side. doesn't really matter where, press Enter. Your guess doesn't have to be that good, so I usually just press Enter. And here we go. Here's our first intercept. It crosses the, the axis at x equals minus 2. And so that means that um, x plus 2 is a factor, right? But anyway, it crosses at x equals minus 2. So we could say the point minus 2, 0 um, is where the x-intercept is located, but you could also say the x-intercept is minus 2. Now remember, that's not the only one, right? There's one over here. And so I'm going to do the same thing. Second and trace, go back to 0, because we're finding a 0 of a function. This time, the left-hand bound, I want to be on the left-hand side or below the other one. Obviously, I already am, but I'm just getting a little closer. Okay, right bound, I want to get above that. So there we go. And now it tells me to guess. I don't know. I'm just going to press Enter. And then we get our other zero or intercept. So the zero of the function is 3. It crosses the x-axis at 3. You could say there's an x-intercept at 3. So we have an x-intercept at minus 2 and an x-intercept at 3. So there's the x-intercepts. So what about the y-intercept? Well, the y-intercept is very special. The y-intercept is the point where x equals 0. So if I can just figure out what this looks like when x equals 0, and obviously I could just plug it in, right? I'm just going back to look at this real quick. I mean, if I plug in 0, what am I going to get? Minus 6. So I already know that the y-intercept is minus 6. But let, what if this was harder? How would I do that on the calculator? Well, I can actually go back. Well, let's look at the graph real quick. I can go back to second and uh, uh, trace and go into the Calculate menu, and you see here where it says Value. I'm going to press 1 and go into that. And it says X equals, well, I want X equal to 0. And it would say, there is your point, Y equals negative 6. So, of course, no matter how complicated your function is, you can do this process and find the X and Y intercepts very quickly.